let's quickly talk about microsoft power bi architecture if you see the screen everything is there in front of you let us talk about quick things here let us understand how it actually works because i've seen in my experience that a lot of people get confused at the very first time when they get into this technology because it has several components and how they are connected it's very much important to understand and this tech diagram pretty much justifies the same right now you can see see majorly if you see how it is happening how the flow is the very first thing that you can actually connect a lot of data sources directly to a cloud based power bi program now in fact before that i would suggest to keep it simplified i want to tell you one thing that there are two major components of power bi one is the desktop application which is an offline program and one is power bi service which is a cloud based program which is there on the cloud anyone can use it access it from anywhere but the desktop application needs to be installed on a system or on a local machine then only it, it can be used right now you can see over here this is power bi desktop application and something which is over here in the cloud is power bi service these are the two major components of power bi now how we can actually use power bi service now right let's talk about that now if you talk about power bi desktop application here we build the entire report here we do everything almost everything 80% of the things related to the bi process needs to be done over here now once you create the report then you simply publish it onto the cloud why do you need to do that because you have to share it with the stakeholder or the concerned person or the consumer of the report right so that is the reason once the report has been built you have to publish it onto the cloud so that people who have an access to the same they can access the report on the go right that is one way of using the power bi program on the other hand you can actually directly connect the data into power bi service ignoring power bi desktop application completely now this has few lacks into it number one you, you won't be able to perform in-depth calculation because it won't support the dex functions on the other hand power bi desktop supports the same right so that is the major reason people always use power bi desktop application they build the report over there and then they publish it onto power bi service instead of directly connecting to the data into service and building a report because you won't be able to get those in-depth insights right and once it is actually published onto power bi service then it can be accessed through any device it either could be mobile application of power bi or through a tablet or through a system also now what is this power bi gateway although we'll be talking about all these that all of them in detail later on but just for the glimpse i'm just talking about all these things right now now what is power bi gateways now this is something which really help to set a scheduled refresh what do you mean by that suppose let's talk about this example we are using power bi desktop application we created the entire model and the report here into this and then we publish it on to power bi service what if if the data source has updated data now now we have to update the power bi desktop report and then we have to publish republish it on to power bi service so that's manual intervention is there if you want to ignore that manual intervention you have to set up a power bi gateway now this automates this process actually right it triggers the auto refresh as per your setting of the time and day so this can be done using power bi gateways uh, too right so this is the entire power bi architecture i believe you got a basic understanding of the same we'll be talking about each and every component in detail and that to be practically thank you